So what's up everyone, Digital Wizard here, playing some Super Castlevania, or Castlevania 4. Easily one of my favorite games of all time. I have not played it enough. One of the best things about it is the omnidirectional attacks that you have. Love that. From what I remember, it's of all the 2D side-scrolling games, I think that it's here in Castlevania that I did that. I could be wrong. But love the graphics, love the music, love the sound. I just really can't complain about anything about this game. This song right here, oh man, so good. I don't think there's anything back here. Pretty sure there's not, yeah. I like the way you can go in between the different, um, like the foreground and the background. That's really cool, too. What a great touch. Especially for back then on Super Nintendo days. Kind of unheard of. What? Okay, so I can go down here. Okay, gotcha. Come back to the foreground. Little meat sticks? You can't get me. Yeah, that's how you avoid these pits right here. I like the way the flowers grow right in front of you too. That's always been a nice touch. You spin your whip. Good times. Oh, almost got hit. Is there like a secret right here or something? I can't remember. I thought the glowing eyes back there meant that on the gargoyle, but I could be wrong. I've always loved the, the art direction and the enemies and the the character lineage and just everything about Castlevania. And since it's October and almost Halloween, what better game to play than this game? I'm even thinking about maybe playing a bunch of Castlevania games and making videos out of them for the rest of the month. Oh, that's one of the things I don't like about this game, actually. Right there, I just witnessed it. Um, I had the boomerang, which is easily the fucking best weapon, uh, sub-weapon, and then I picked up the axe by accident. And most of the Castlevania games, especially more of the more recent games, um, your previous weapon falls on the ground, you can pick it back up. I always like that. Ooh, take that. Why would the invincibility be right there when it's like the end of the section? Would he be invincible from two fucking bats? Even though I got hit by him? Whatever. Fucking dickhead. Bam. Do, 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 do. Music's so infectious. Who could forget the, the backwards Michael Jackson moonwalk style of the stairwalk? Oh, this is a good stuff too. Oh, I love that. Good stuff. They had so many cool little things, man, that make this game great. Like, look at this dude. Little hand coming out. Get close, he whacks you. Whoa, almost died. Here we go. Can you jump the stairs? Oh, yeah, okay. You can! Still no secret there. That's shocking. There we go. That's a good point to have invincibility there. Oh, get him. Oh, no. Jerk. Oh, 
Oh no. And you can cr you can like crouch and still walk. I love that. Great touch. Like for Super Nintendo, this has, has such a great gameplay mechanics. It's amazing. Can these guys fall? There we go. Oh, how did I not get you? I just whack. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hate the horse head dudes. They're sneaky. Oh. I miss games having secrets. I mean, modern games just don't do that anymore, and I don't understand why. Most games don't have any reason to go searching. It, it just it's just sad, it really is. Backwards moonwalk. Again that music though. No. Oh, and another thing that they added in this game that most Castlevania games don't have is you can change direction in the air of when you're jumping so you can avoid obstacles a little bit easier. Damn it. So the time stop. Ooh, chicken nugget meal. Oh, jerk. Feels like whack-a-mole sometimes when you do this. It does minimal damage, but it does kind of give you the all-around attack. Bam. What are those, like, piles of snakes forward into, like, a gelatinous cube? I don't know. It's weird looking. Castlevania was never shy about having multiple enemies or various enemies. Obscure enemies. Who was the first boss? I can't even remember. Oh, a skeleton dude. Oh, that's not what I want to do. So I can only hurt the horse guy, huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, he's so badass. Bam, son. Eat it. What a great game. So you have all that math to go through. The game is so long. It's so great all the way through. Couldn't recommend it enough. Down in the water. I remember that part being fucking brutal. So I'm going to end the video right there. I just wanted to do a quick gameplay of this one. I love this game. I might do a part two. Not really sure. So I'll probably just save it. Come back to it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did so. Happy Halloween, everybody.